Hi, my name is Ola Jagada and I'm an aerodynamicist at the Mercedes AMG Patronus Formula One team. My group within the aerodynamics department focuses on the front wing of the car. We typically start with ideas generation, what we think the car is lacking, ways to improve it, and what kind of parts and body shapes we think might be able to achieve these aims. As we hone in on what we want to target, we model our ideas in 3D using computer-aided design software. Once we have a 3D representation of our ideas, we then simulate those parts using computational fluid dynamics and use that to get a rough estimation of how the idea might perform in real life. It usually takes several iterations of this process before we get a finalised part that we're happy to manufacture and test at small scale using the wind tunnel we have on site in order to reproduce the same flow as if that model was actually outside and moving. In our wind tunnel, we have a 60% scale version of our race car, and so we can fit our newly designed parts onto this model and then test to see if our ideas actually work. From time to time, the new parts don't work exactly as predicted, so we still do some analysis and learning at this stage. In the cases where the new parts aren't good, we study why, we go back to the drawing board and possibly try again with improvements. In the cases where the new parts are good and we're able to show it would make the car faster, we do two things. First, we celebrate, and second, we start releasing those parts to be manufactured for the race cars so that we can see that performance on track. The role of an aerodynamicist in F1 is to help design the shape of a car in order to generate downforce as it travels through the air. This helps the car grip the track and is one of our main weapons in our arsenal to make the car faster and ultimately bring down lap times. Being able to generate this downforce without overly compromising the car with drag is a tight balance and as such we spend great lengths and resources in the aerodynamics department considering every single piece we put on the car. The most challenging part of the job I find is when you've worked hard on an idea and it looks great in simulations so you're appropriately excited to see your work tested in the wind tunnel only to then see it underperform. At these times, you've got to not dwell, get straight to analysing what could have gone wrong and figure out if the concept still has potential with additional tweaks. Ultimately, you have to take it as another learning opportunity. My favourite parts of the job are the times when you've put a lot of effort into an idea and it turns into a game when it gets tested in the wind tunnel. It's like a straight shot of dopamine. I then love it when those same parts hit the track and people start to take notice. One of the best parts of the job is getting to read the articles, the F1 technical posts and the speculation about exactly your work. I think a great example of a tough moment for the aerodynamics department was at the start of the 2022 season and how we faced the realisation of bouncing, aka porpoising. Up to the start of that season, we had worked hard and fiercely trying to make the W13 our best car yet, but straight out of the blocks, we realised we had a serious issue with porpoising. We had to shift a considerable amount of development into understanding whether this was aerodynamics driven and whether we had some form of control to solve it. But the aerodynamics department faced this turn of events with great humility, focus and determination. And when you think about it, it's amazing that we were able to completely redesign our car to suffer less from bouncing all in time for Barcelona, which was just race six. I was born in Nigeria, grew up in good old Yorkshire, and then studied aerospace engineering at the University of Manchester, where I did my bachelor's before going straight on to study for a PhD in aircraft aerodynamics. My road to F1 is slightly unusual as after completing my PhD, I lived two years in Japan thanks to the Daiwa Anglo-Japanese Foundation in order for me to work on spacecraft with the Japanese Aerospace Agency. I'd actually never planned to come back to the UK, but I saw a post for a graduate aerodynamics position at Mercedes and I just couldn't help but apply. And here I am today.